Hey people, I am Shrimay and this is my take on what's on my Android smartphones. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys the setup I'm currently rocking on my device and the apps I use on a daily basis. Now the devices I use are the Nexus 6P and the OnePlus 5. And don't flip out when I say that I'm using Nexus 6P as my primary device. The main reason, stock Android. If you know me, I have always been a fan of stock Android and I can go on and on about saying how great it is, but I won't. We already know that. So I'm currently running on stock Android 8.1 with the latest security patch of January 2018. Now I have three main launchers that I sort of jump in between from time to time, but the launcher I am sort of permanently hooked on for now is Launcher Launcher. I think this is one of the cleanest launchers I have used. It still needs a ton of work, but for now it's completely usable. It gives a very close to stock Android look and feel in terms of UI and design choice that I absolutely dig. In terms of customizability, we can't make some major changes, but we have some basic tweaking options like resizing apps, changing the icon pack and tweaking the grid and so on. If you look at my home screen, I have a pretty clean looking setup. In the right side of the screen, I do have a weather widget from today weather app that sort of give me the basic information of today's temperature and even shows the weather forecast of the upcoming days. That's sometimes comes really handy and and come on it even looks kind of nice just sitting there now on my main page of the screen these are my basic essential apps that i sort of regularly use i have google keep to sort of jot down any video ideas or sudden thoughts so i kind of keep that app in my fingers reach then i have instagram the social media platform that i think i'm most active on so do follow me in there i have also youtube creators app to its right and yeah, this is I think the most opened app on my device. I sort of always check my analytics or give reply to the comments. Visco is there and like many others, it's my go-to photo editing app. I also have Google Maps on my home screen in case I need it. In the dock, I have same old stuff that I think most of the people have. The dialer, Spotify. Yeah, I listen to music a lot, mostly Charlie Puth and Gavin James. I have Inbox as my go-to email app. Also, there is Phoenix as my primary Twitter client. I'm trying to get a little bit active on Twitter nowadays, so follow me in there if you guys want to. So yeah, Phoenix is, I think, one of the cleanest looking Twitter clients, so definitely check it out. Then we have the same old Chrome as my default browser. In my app drawer, I also have some important apps that I use more often like Discord to get in touch with my gaming community friends. I use LastPass as my password manager. I know 8.1 have a password autofill feature, but in here I can even store credit card or any sort of note securely, so that's that. I'm playing Monument Valley again because of inclusion of new chapters. My Splash app is now my Unsplash client to get stock pictures and wallpapers. By the way, the wallpaper is from this app, but I will even link it down below in the description in case you need it. Coming back, I even have an icon pack, it's called Polygon. It's pretty popular and I have not applied the pack in all of my apps but I have made changes on few like Phoenix and camera app. So I always sort of keep an icon pack in case I don't like a particular app so that I can make changes in it. I am also using Reddit quite often now so there's that. Retro music player is my favorite music player as it is the most cleanest and the minimal looking music player I have ever came across. I also have Snapseed as a secondary editing option. Also, I use Textra as my main SMS client. And how can you forget the Wonderwall, a wallpaper app that basically has a crazy collection of nature-based wallpaper. And that's basically it. That's all I have on my Nexus device. And if you ask me about the OnePlus 5, it doesn't have a whole lot of apps because I have flashed the Oxygen OS Beta 4 to test out the face unlock feature. And spoiler alert, it's freaking fast. The launcher is the stock Oxygen OS OnePlus launcher, but I do have a Pixly icon pack installed and I think it suits the aesthetic of the device very well. And also I have this sick wallpaper that I don't remember where I have downloaded it from. I think it is from deviantart.com, but don't worry, I will link it below in case you know want to download it. So yeah, that's basically wrap up my video. This is my current setup and the essential apps that I am using in 2018. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a like in this video, subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss out on any content like this. 
I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then, eat, breathe, and grow old.